It is a blue dragon's egg. Yeah, what I was saying, it's going to skip over, but I had to just go back, kind of show a little bit too much information, but I used to be a correctional officer at a level four, a high level three and high level four maximum offender at California State Penitentiary, and I was there for about uh, five, six years as a correctional officer, put it down. Um, anyways, 2007, I'm, I'm freaking, I'm getting sued. Anyways, a whole bunch of us are getting sued. Su the Supreme Court, and uh, it's huge, wrongful death and the whole nine. It's going to be televised in Sacramento and shit. So my whole point of this was is just to let you know that that's going to put a damper on, on the business. That's going to, you know, I'm not going to stop, though. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll go to the court proceedings, suit it up. No, Your Honor, no, I'm, I'm a person of high caliber integrity. Yeah, I had nothing to do with that, you know. There's a lot of crooked shit that goes on in a gladiator you know, arena. You go to a gladiator school, to a gladiator arena, we're dealing with some big dogs. These dogs ain't ever seen light of day again. And those are the cats that I dealt with on a daily. You know what I mean? They don't play. And when your number's called, you better get in there. It's a no fist policy structure. It's all shanks, man. That's what I had to deal with. So, so from 2007, what is this, 2013, I've got this litigation in the mail, and of course, when I need to be busy with you guys, busy with machines, and busy with everything else, the company, I've got a Supreme Court freaking justice in Sacramento uh, lawsuit to go through on death. Great. That's just that. So let's get on to my other stuff. So on this Joey D, I just wanted to get that out there so you guys know that I'm not flaking on you, man. On this Joey D, I've got a speed bar set up. And what it is, is it's, it's hollowed out, okay? Um, you can see it. Let's see here. Probably not. Yeah. Just a, maybe a barely, okay. Right in here, it's hollowed out, all right? They're called speed bars. It's a speed bar, and it's intended to lighten the weight of the iron armature bar or steel armature bar. And so that... Uh, it speeds it up um, for lining, okay? As you can see, I've got some awesome little coils here. I won't get into too much of where these came from, but I've got a, uh, I've got a full, you know, 10, and then a, or, or I'm sorry, i got a full 8, and then a uh, shorty. Shorty on the back with a stilt. So, good stuff. Running proper. Okay, now let's get into the, the uses of these. We've got a liner set up to where it's hollowed out. It's not necessary, but it does speed up the process of lining and more consistency. Um, the lengths are pretty much the same. Here's another liner bar right here. Okay, and now let's look at these three variables. We've got a, a liner, a shader, and a color packer armature bar, all iron. And let's get those set up in that order. Okay. I've got a liner, a shader, and a color packer arm bar. Let's look at the lengths. Pretty much, they're all the same length. Okay. Pretty much. As far as widths, they're all pretty much the same width, geometrically. Or, uh, I'm sorry, the, the thickness, not the width. Width is totally different, okay? Now, with the liner opposed to the shader, let's take a look at that. You've got the liner, and the geometry there is a little different. The liner bar is shorter than the shader bar. Nipples are pretty much the same. Thicknesses are pretty much the same. Okay? But at the rear end here, we have a sloping 
for the shader. We don't have that on the liner. Plus it extends a little bit further than your liner arm bar would. The reason for this sloping is that it creates kind of like a pocket. It, it's geometry and physics. Okay, So that slope on there is not just for looks. It actually has to do with a longer stroke uh, and, and a better depth control on that bar when the needle bar is attached. Now let's take a look at your shader bar opposed to your color packer. Armature bar. Okay. So right now we're going to look in depth at shader versus a color packer bar. This is the proper way to set up your tattoo machine. The, the way that you've probably been setting up your tattoo machine, it just comes with the stock armature bar and it's a piece of chrome. You know, a piece of steel that's forged. Alright, it's kind of like what uh, Joey D did with, with this armature bar. Okay, his armature bars all appear to be the same, same length, same weight, and just slams them on there, blah, blah, blah. Now, it works pretty good the way that he's doing it, but if you really want to set up a great machine, then you follow the geometrical patterns and the scientific resonance of what these bars are intended to do. Weight, length, throw, uh, scientific variances, all right? So we've got a shader bar here that's got that little 45 degree slit on the back. Science. Take a look at how wide the color armature bar is opposed to your shader. A big difference there, don't you think? Most artists in the industry do not even go by this. They're just syncing with the shader bar or just a bar. They might be lining, shading, and coloring with the same bar. I know a lot of artists that do that. But the point of this matter is if you want to set up your machine properly, and high tuned, high spec, badass running machine, there's a certain couple of things that you have to do and look at. One of those is the geometry and the sciences of why these bars are created. Okay? So, getting a little warm in here. I've got a switch drug scale. It's not what I use it for, obviously. I wish. What I use it for is uh, weighing out these uh, these pieces here. Getting into the business, I need to know the inside and outside, all aspects of how these are working. So with this with this scale, it's a nice little digital scale. I don't know how far you guys want to get into this, but I'm getting deep into deep. I'm set at ounces. Now let's take a look at the different variables here, okay? And see exactly what's going on. Equipped on, and I'm, I'm gonna take this liner bar off to the side. I'm just gonna use, for example, this shader bar and this color packer bar. And we're gonna go based on weight on that. As you can see, the copper washer and screws are both identical, okay? Not thicker, not thinner. Let's lock them down so you guys get a better perception of that. They're both the same. Basically what I'm saying is that that way is the same, that way is the same, that copper uh, washer, that copper washer, both of these are the same. The only difference is, is the sizes and widths of both of these right here. And we're going to take a look at that. How much does my shader bar weigh? My shader bar weighs I don't know if you can see that my shader bar weighs 0.535 of an ounce how much does my color packer weigh? 535, remember that it's back to zero go ahead and tear it how much does my color packer bar weigh? 735. 
So we had 5, 3, 5, and 7, 3, 5. Let's go back. 5, 3, 5. 7, 4, 0. Let's tear that and do it again. Make sure it's proper. 7, 3, 5. Let's tear that again so we can get a better reading. 7, 4, 0. So we can assume safely 7 40ths of an ounce and 5 35ths of an ounce on the shader bar. You're looking at 2 hundredths of an ounce more weight added onto your color packer than we are the shader. Now if I take my liner bar, and let me take some of these, uh, these uh, wing nuts and stuff off. Let's just put this little one on. Let's go to the liner bar. Remember those numbers that I just had told you. Okay, let's do the arm, the, the, uh, the little liner bar. 522, two, wait, what is that? 525, uh, five, okay? 525, five, what was this one? 535, five, tenths, tenths of a uh, ounce lighter. But let's go into the hollowed out version, okay? I have to go set this back up again. But I really want to go in depth into this just, just to cover it. Okay, so that I could say I did. Okay, let's take that off. Let's get the springs off of there. Okay, let's get rid of the machine. Let's take the springs off and the nomenclature. Uh, by the way, I'm using probably military terms. Nomenclature is the part, the moving parts of a weapon. Sorry if I do that. Bad habit. Take the springs off, O-ring, and just leave it as is. So now you can see that my shader, my liner, and my color packer are all the same on top. The screws are the same, iron. The washers are all the same diameter and thickness, copper, but we have different widths and elements going on in the back. Primarily they're all the same length. Okay? They're all the same length. Everything's pretty much the same. So we have for the color 735 to 740ths of an ounce. Shader we have 535ths of an ounce and the hollowed out speed liner bar we have 440 fifths of an ounce. Now let's go. I said 440 fifths, 530 fifths. We're about 100 there. So we're looking at 100 grams each fluctuation there. Hundreds of an ounces. Okay? That's a huge impact in the skin, isn't it? Alright? So. Then I can weigh out my springs and we can get into another video on that. It's very important as well. And even your O rings. 0.5s, 5 tenths of a, an ounce. But here's my point all three of these together. Bam. 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 We're looking at 1.72 ounces. We're looking at almost two ounces there. Nice, right? It's nice. Your whole machine, though, I've got a coil set from Joey D. And let's see how much those weigh. 2.7, almost 3 ounces. From Superior, a heavy 3.35. Okay? Here's my point with this, guys. My point is, is that, yes, it does matter. Um, when you guys get serious about this business, and I know that you are and that you will, because you're looking at these videos, you're going to understand that the geometry, 
physical science, you know, scientific aspects, scientific aspects, the the art and science and the magic that happens with these machines. Why I'm going to be a great, massive, illuminated, not Illuminati, illuminated Freemason master builder, because I'm going to look into this stuff hardcore. When I send you guys out a machine, it's going to be tip top. I wanted to suit you guys' needs and drop that in, period. First time around. Can you imagine if I could build you a machine right now that I send to you, you open it up out of the box, you don't touch anything, you just go at it, and your full capabilities on paper or within a paintbrush stroke, your artistic abilities, if I could give you a machine or a tool that you could open from the box and exemplify that on the human skin, do you realize how great you would be? Do these shop guys realize how great you would be? No, they don't care about you, and they don't care about me. I'm not talking about the shop guys that are, you know what, I'm surprised. I've got a couple of shop guys, a good number of shop guys, coming onto this channel and saying, yo, man, yeah, I, I had four or five years experience uh, learning in the streets, and, and you know, now I'm learning from your channel. I've got four years in the shop now, and it feels like I've taken steps back. Yes, sir. You're going to, you know what? Hate. Hate, okay? Violence. Hate. The world. Mass-produced bullshit that we deal with every single day. 90% of marriages don't make it in this, in this world. Why? Technology. It's easier for me to cheat on my wife now than it ever has been. But, because of technology. But, it's that much more easy for me to get caught. Thus the 90% that don't make it. If I go back to the pager days, guess what? Sorry, honey, dude, uh, I didn't have a quarter to call you. You know what I'm saying? So let's get back to this, okay? Huge impact on the skin. Color. Boom, 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 boom. Shader. Liner. Okay, so we have differences there. Most artists will not go into this part of the process at all. They not only will get into this, they don't want to get into this, they will not see their full potential on the skin, ever. If you stay here, you're going to be there. You're never going to go there. You understand what I'm saying? We have crossed on this channel already why Chinese is no bueno. No finito. Okay? Ain't gonna have it. We've already crossed that. Copper plated MIG wire, welding MIG wire, 40% uh, electromagnetic fields, uh, gaps in our coil systems, which a gap in electromagnetic fields is not good. If we had eyes that could see electromagnetic waves that are going around us all the time. We would not ever use cell phones. We would not use the microwave. We would not use plenty of things in this world that we use today because we're like, but we're going to get cancer. Ha, I see all the colors and oh man, I'm high on LSD right now. I don't want to do it. Get me away from that. If we could see with our eyes. I'm going to help you see with your eyes and your mind's eye, your pineal gland, your third eye, your crown chakra. Let's open that up. You're interested in the art and so am I. I'm interested in building a business for you, for me, for all of us. Scratchers in this industry. Even you guys that are scratchers by heart in the shops. That will be taken this side. That's what we're going to do and that's what our mission is. And I'm glad that you guys are Paying attention, I'm glad that you guys are wanting more. Bear with me when times go. Sometimes I hibernate. Sometimes I go on a, I, I, I tell my, my wife all the time, you know, I, I say, if I could build an egg that opens up like an alien spaceship, you need like a laser hand. You can't get in if you don't have that little digit hand. I would build myself an egg 
and the mood of who what I was inside that egg would change. So if it was green, go ahead and knock. But if it's red, stay away. I want that egg. And sometimes I go into that egg. And sometimes with life and the life stresses that we all endure. You young cats, you have a good life. If you're in your early 20s right now, I commend you, dude. Do what you got to do with this. Take this to the fullest extent. Be as good as Mike Device. Be as good as, as all the other guys out there. Don Hardy. You know what I'm saying? Sailor Jerry. Make your own stuff. Make your own flash. Do your own things. Open up the mind's eye. I'm going to help you do that. When I say light incense, I really truly mean light incense. I'm not saying that to be some prick off the streets like, yo, I'm a weird Buddha-ist. No, I'm a philosopher, I'm a chemist, I'm a music lover, I'm a tattoo enthusiast, I'm a, I'm a creator. We're all creators. Manu, man. Where did our name come from? Man. Manu. It means the thinker. Remember? The dude on the statue? Why is he sitting like that? Because we think. And what happens? The government shuts down our pineal gland in the middle of our brain that releases it, DMT. DMT is the strongest hallucinogenic known to mankind on the planet. Animals have it. Plants have it. We have it. It's only experienced twice. Upon birth through the canal and death. Why is that? Because it's the seed of the soul. It's the all-seeing eye. It's giving me chills right now. You don't believe me? Look close. You understand that? That's real. And understand what I'm saying when I say that I'm going to create a movement for all of us. All of us. This goes out to all you guys. I'm, I'm, dude, I got heart for you guys and I will never, ever, ever change. I know I'm going to be successful. I know this. For my kids, I know this. For myself and my life, finally, again, I'm going to be successful. This is the last time that I have a chance. <gasps> I'm giving my, my all, my 100%. Okay? I don't know if this is a lecturing video or what it is or what you get out of it. But I will tell you this. Do not let anybody tell you you can't do it. You understand that? I've been told all my life I cannot do it. Whatever it was. And guess what? Every single freaking time I've done it. You get up in the morning... And you have a smile on your face in the mirror. But you know what happens? You walk out the door. Someone does something and disrupts your whole day, right? Am I right? And then you start thinking about everything. One person. I have the same problem. Don't let it happen to you. Don't let it happen to me. If I start falling, grab me by my throat, dude. And say, look. Man. You know what I mean? Confidence, self-esteem, motivation, drive. Drive is the key word to this day in this video. Drive forward and don't look back. Don't put yourself right here. Keep doing what you do. You want to get into this tattoo stuff just like I do? I want to be the best on this planet. I will never be the best because every artist is the best. They have their own thing that they can bring to the artistic world and canvas that we see every day. I will never be the best, but I will be one of the best, and so will you. So, I want to see your work. Please send me those. Don't fall off. We're not going to fall off. We've just begun. Got some soldiers tacking it down from here to damn Tokyo. I talk shit about Chinese machines, but I got Chinese people hitting me up. You know why? Because they understand that their government is corrupt. Communistic. So, our lesson today... Ladies and gents, was armature bars and their purpose. Are they important? Yes, they are. If you want to be a better artist, you will look into what I covered today. Okay? I went over weight and thickness, or, you know, the width of each one. Now, does that matter? Yes. Does the kind of needles that you use matter? Yes. Does the machine matter? Yep. Do the coils? Aha! Abso-frickin-lutely. Don't let these mass marketers fool you guys. I'm not saying go out and buy yourself a $600 machine. No, sir. No, ma'am. I make, create things like that. I don't know. Is there gold in there? Is there silver in there? What am I using? Feasibility. Supply and demand. 
Am I going to have machines available for you guys for 100 bucks? Yes. Are they going to freaking work? Yes. But does that mean that I don't want you to buy my $300 machines? No. One step, two step, three step, four. I'm going to have a line of steps. A lot of things are going to go into this, and I just pray that I can do this. I'm not rich. I'm, I'm living just like everybody else, trying and struggling to make it. Okay? But listen to me. This is an armature bar video slash pineal gland slash philosophical zip. And listen to me or don't listen to me. You know what I mean? Either way. There's some fruitful knowledge for you, some wisdom for you to kick down and share with your friends or yourself inside. Let this expand. Let this grow. Study this. Understand these. Know what's in this. Take it apart and use this. You feel me? Do that. And that was weird. Uh, this thing's on. And I thought it was off. Not good. That thing's been on for days. Holy crap. Tosla, why didn't you tell me the little ironing was on, B? Because I did it. I said, the iron That's dangerous, Baba. Yes. Yeah, oh, not, my goodness. I said not Your naked on. little butt. I'm not saying not on. He's always in his chonies. That's just the way that he likes to do things. Yeah, because I... Uh, you want to you want to say hi? He always wants to say hi to you guys. Come here, say hi. hi. Say hi to the world. Hi. Say thank you for going to Daddy's channel. Thank you for going to Daddy's channel. Good, good boy. Now go get a snack. Yeah, have a nice year. It's the blue dragon's egg.